Woo! What's up guys? Welcome back to another video of Flippo's driveway. I'm Flippo. Today we're going to be doing a CV axle replacement on a on the uh, 2016 to 2018 Honda Pilots and holy smokes I can honestly say this is one of the harder jobs I've done in a while. I've had many issues with this job anywhere from uh, ordering the right parts, uh, having the right parts and parts fitment and needing special tools and then also having to order additional parts that I didn't foresee before I started this. There's a couple topics real quick I want to touch on before we get started. On, on all these models, the EX, EXLs, Touring, all that shit, they make uh, two different transmissions for different sub-models. They make a six and a nine speed transmission. On the six speed, it's a single piece intermediate shaft and CV axle on this front passenger side. And on the nine speed, it's a two piece and they're not interchangeable. So you wanna make sure you get that uh, ordered right before you get started. I'm gonna make this a two part uh, video just because the first part is going to be removal I'll tell you now I had issues on the installation so I'm gonna have the second part of the video be in the installation only you'll see what all the uh, issues I'm talking about and the special tools I'm talking about as we get into the video so that's enough talking guys let's go ahead and get into it let's get it. first things first you gotta get this rotor and all this bullshit off so I'm gonna go ahead and start with the stupid ass Phillips bit looks like somebody wasted some time on it I don't know who did that. It wasn't me. <laughs> I'm going to hit it with the Taco Bell fire sauce for about, you know, 30 seconds. Go ahead and get you one of these bad puppies right here. Impact screwdriver. And the biggest purse you can find. And give it a couple love taps. All right, safety first. Honestly, I don't know why I put these on. I'm gonna have them fucking ripped or tore in about two or three bolts. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this tie rod end off. Straighten out the cotter pin. Ah, got the cotter pin out. Now we got to remove this brake caliper bracket. There's two bolts back here, 19 mils. Ah, that wasn't very tight. Ah. 
Now we gotta get this axle nut off. So we're gonna need like a flat head or something to get underneath that to pry that back up because they pinched it down. You're gonna need a this bad bitch right here, 36. Okay, we're gonna need a fucking cheater pipe. Fuck this shit. Round one, axle nut whoop my ass. That thing has been soaking in penetrating oil all night. I've tried fucking map gas, tried it all. So, round two, we're not motherfucking asking anymore. Milwaukee high twerk. Let's go. Yeah, buddy. That was fucking easy. Hey, I'm gonna recommend right now, you're gonna need the 36 millimeter socket and you're gonna need the fucking high torque, bro. Unless you're a fucking He-Man. Spray that bitch in Fucking penetrating oil. Some of these bolts, especially these fine thread bolts, like this, you might have to clean the threads out to get them off. I had to clean the threads on this one, it was pretty dirty. So next thing we're gonna do, there's a bracket holding this, the end of this uh, CV axle. And there's two bolts it looks like going through it. One at the top here. And let's see, and one at the bottom here. take the bottom ball joint off I probably made a mistake trying to pull that thing out beforehand so I have a feeling it's gonna pop back in too man it's kind of freaking me out Once you get that ball joint broke loose, you just want to take a big ass solid pry bar like this, stick it in that first hole under this ear, like so, and then you can pick it up, move it around like that. Now we got that ball joint off, this thing will move in and out. We can push this CV axle out. Pry bars. Ah. Boom, baby. Now we just got to pull this CV axle out. Make sure you got a oil pan under there. Oh, crap. Okay. You need to take a pry bar. I'm going to show you what you got to do. Once you're ready to slide the CV axle out, the carrier bearing where the CV axle and the intermediate shaft meet, you just want to take a pry bar right there. You can press against the exhaust with it and just grab the back of that CV axle 
and give it a good push and it'll slide it right out but make sure you have your oil pan under here ready to go because you're going to lose some oil some uh gear oil out of that transfer case There it is. That was a ton of work to get that bitch out of there. But we got it, Bubba. Yeehaw! Hope that video helped y'all out, guys. If it did, please hit that like, subscribe, and make these videos for you guys. I go through the struggles so you don't have to. I, I try to save you as much time, pain, and money as I can. So, enough said. I love you guys. I'm gonna get out of here. I gotta get this bitch reassembled and then make the second part to this video. I'll catch you later. Peace!